Hi guys, how are you? Today I will teach you how to prepare the vertical violin sheet in Excel spreadsheet. So before we start to prepare it, let's get the answer of these questions quickly. Okay. So first one, what is violin sheet? A violin sheet is a financial statement that summarizes a company's assets, liabilities, and shareholder equity at a specific period of time. The second one is what are the components of violin sheet? So basically, there are three main components of violin sheet as company's assets, company's liabilities, and shareholder equity. And the third one is what are the formats of violin sheet or how many formats of violin sheet? So basically, there are two methods of format of violin sheet as vertical format of violin sheet. It is also known as modern format or method of violin sheet and the second one is horizontal format of violin sheet that is traditional format or method of violin sheet and the fourth one is what is the accounting equation so it is also called violin sheet equation represents the relationship between the assets liabilities and owners equity of a company or business it is the foundation for the double entry bookkeeping system and the accounting equations or the formula of accounting equation is assets equal to capital plus liabilities okay we got the answer now let's take a questions of trial violence only related to violence violence sheet items as an example to prepare the violence sheet okay All right. Uh, okay, this is our trial balance, uh, which is uh, related to our uh, balance sheet items. Now let's select the sales from here to here, including our header that is uh, the title head, or excluding the total row that is this one. Okay. Now go to the insert tab. So click here and uh, click on the pivot table. All right. Now make sure that our selected area range is correct, and uh, uh, that is this one. Okay. And uh, choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. So choose any one from these uh, two criteria. So. I will be placed the pivot table report into the new worksheet so it is already selected so let's click on ok all right now let's make the violin sheet by choosing the fields to add to report based on the hierarchy level of the report that is violin sheet so according to violin sheet format we have to select the group first so click here and the second their subgroup so click here and the third one is account head so click here and the fourth one is debit areas and the fifth one is credit areas all right now go to the row level box that is this box and uh, drag debit areas and credit areas from row levels box to values box that is, that is in this box so click here and drag from here to here and click here and drag from here to here all right now go to the uh, value box that is here and uh, click the debit areas arrow and click on the value field setting that is uh, this one okay and choose the sum so click here and click on ok similarly click on it and choose the value field setting select the sum and click on ok all right now let's rename the row levels that is this one as a particular name so click here and uh, clear it and add the name particular 
particulars all right now click uh, on anywhere within the table and go to the design tab so click here and choose the visual style for the pivot table you want i'm going to choose pivot style medium 15 under the median section so click here and uh, click on it all right now click on b column so click here to select our entire sum of david areas and beyond the david areas okay so click here all right and go to the number section of the home tab so here and click on comma as tab all right to get the value in the decimal format all right similarly click on c column to select our entire sum of credit areas and beyond the credit areas okay so click here and go to the number section of the home tab here and click on comma tab to get the value in the decimal places now we can see our debit and credit uh, column are in decimal with accounting format you can see all right now click here to select entire cell of the sheet so click here and uh, go to the font section of uh, home tab that is here and uh, click here choose the font name you want i'm going to write the font name name times new roman times new roman and press enter here all right now Let's make the balance sheet view up to subgroup for a while. So we have to minimize the account heads. So click on it and minimize the button. So click on so click on minimize button. That is uh, each section of uh, subtraction and minimize it one by one. So click here and minim minimize it okay all right we can see our uh, debit and credit value are again changed from the decimal to simple general format so again select uh, for both volume and go to accounting format all right now let's make the link between the balance sheet and trial balance or our questions area by using the hyperlink features in excel spreadsheet so click here and uh, write the name trial balance trial balance and press the enter key click the right button of your mouse and click on hyperlink and uh, choose the place in this document and make sure that your trial balance sheet is in the particular sheet so uh, our trial balance is in the sheet 2 so click here and click on ok and now let's make this uh, name a little bit bigger all right and now click on it ok now click here and select uh, these two column and click on merge and center now write the name balance it now click here and click the right button of your mouse and choose the hyperlink and make sure the selected area is placed in this document now choose the our balance it so our balance it is in seat 5 so click here and click on ok all right now let's make this name a little bit bigger all right now click here okay we can see all right finally we have successfully prepared the balance it if you want any update in the trial balance section that is uh, here 
here you can update it but go to the balance section that is in this section and click anywhere within this uh, table so click anywhere within this table and go to the data section of option tab that is here and find the data section that is this section and click on refresh it that is this one we can see here our the balance sheet will automatically replace so guys it's a very easy to prepare it that's all for now thanks for watching the video if you like it please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates if you have any query or comment, write the comment in the comment box below. See you in the next video tutorial. Bye bye. Thank you.